All right, guys. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Hey, hey, hey! This is your homeboy Sam Halabi. So I'm sure you guys are guessing what am I doing here. Um, so basically, today's video is about uh, this cluster, this Integra EG cluster, which I'm not quite happy about. So I have an extra Integra cluster, so I can check for comparison. And I have an EG6 uh, cluster. Uh, so I'm just gonna get started. I'm not quite happy with the screen over here. The job was not done well to my uh, satisfaction. As you guys can see, that it's got lots of scratches and it's broken. The right support is broken from here. Uh, so that I want to change and I'm just not quite happy about the full job how they just stuck it up with the state you know totally I don't like so what I'm gonna do is basically I'm just gonna be cleaning it up and I noticed that uh, we've got some of the bulbs missing for example for the, uh, the trunk like bulb is missing and for the steel bulb is missing and we also have one bulb over here um, it's a door light there it is see it that's the door that's the door so the bulb is missing over there so i'm going to be installing the bulbs and uh, over here we have nothing so i'm gonna go ahead and start removing it uh, carefully now who you know besides me who write lines and squeeze lines and hand holes in the hood sniffing on white lines you don't want me to be a kid's role model I teach him how to buck in the 80s and load up the mallows I gave, I gave the shop uh, a brand new type R cluster and this is what they do you know they think they are smart to stuff and they hide the shit up it looks good from the outside when it fit today I was installing the clock I was just replacing the clock in my uh, in my EG8 and I thought to myself hey let me remove the integral cluster and see what what's up you know and this is what's up this shit is all there look seriously can someone put this tape here come on so anyways I'm going to be attempting to I want to see if I can do a much better job which of course I can Like, you know, I'm gonna get, get them. <laughs> Sorry, I was doing the roar. Ridiculous. Put the TM tape, right? TM tape your head, inshallah. Just a second guys, I just want to put, make sure I can put the, I'm just preparing a small garbage bag, so put the trash on the side. Seriously, you just cannot tape shit over shit. Seriously, who does this? You fucking... I don't know what, from Honolulu? No, sorry, not from Honolulu. You might, it must be from Zombie Island. Just pick it up the way you want. No, that's not the way it's supposed to be done. Thank you, this. So basically today's video is going to be I'm um, just going to be correcting the Integra cluster, Integra Type R 
uh, cluster with the new EG6 screen and I want to see if I can use something off of that you know so I'm glad that I've got some extra clusters yo 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 throw in some likes you guys what's up seriously yalla yalla habibi like 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 come on you guys uh, subscribe to my channel uh, if you don't know that you should know <laughs> yo guys uh, I'm building my EG8 and uh, finally I think I, I have settled for the name uh, I'm gonna call her the brutal uh, butcher black beast project project so my aim basically is a two-inch turbo class I'm building a track car and I would like to have an old school uh, odometer and at the same time I'd like to have I think I've, I've settled to get the i7 dash from Haltech the digital dash and yo guys I have read about that Nexus R R5 that shit is freaking expensive seriously Nexus R5 Woo. So roughly about four thousand dollars damn bro it's uh, basically the i7 dash with the ecu with the with the, with the wireless uh, what do you call this that uh, replaces the uh, all your relays and your fuse box you know so it's like a one box called the Nexus R5 but I'm not pretty sure about it the guys were doing a preview on that thing recently you know so yeah I was watching it it was it was good okay you know what as is I'm going to be removing this off so I'm going to be cleaning this part Amount of tape. Seriously, amount of tape just annoys me. You know those staff that just want to do the job quickly and just get away with it. But like, yeah, that we've done the job. No, you've not done the job. That's not how you do the job. Like a manuki. The screen has got a bracket and a screw. That's it. That's what holds the frame. Simple. Like, 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 like. Look, 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 look. Look. Dash, Mahalim. Dash, dash. It means they just shove it up. They just shove up. Look, look, look. Look at this shit, bro. Seriously. No, bro. Not acceptable. This is a Type R uh, cluster, not some fucking shithead cluster. So I'm just using this to get this off. I decided to take a video today about this. See, so when you need, when you get uh, like God forbid you this catches on heat or something, you know, it's not good. Yeah. 
seriously embarrassing. Look, look. Is this how you do this? Seriously, is this how you do it? Match on the cluster area. External screws. External screw. Wow. Dash, my friend. Dash. Shove up. Let's shove it up. Instead of using the main screws of the in-house in frame, no, we'll put the external screw. And see the way they kept it, like, yani by force, by force, putting the screw here through that. Oh, yani, how you can remove this, Hala? Mashallah. Five inches screw him out there. Shit. Have it. Stupid screw. The guy was probably putting a screw here and then the whole frame broke. Yeah, and they kept the blue here on the side. You see that? Give me a second. Basically, they kept glue over here at the bottom. You know. Let's see. It's a beautiful cluster. Like, seriously. How can you put this? Oh, wow. See, and I didn't even see that screw. Mashallah. Dash, Malam. Push. You want your stupid screws. Literally, he messed up my cluster. Completely messed it up. Look. Completely messed up. I'm just checking with this. Uh, this is just different, you know. It's kind of have the lamination in here, it's just solid black. You know. And on this one, we've got SRS as well. And not that I need it. Okay, just take it. It's got to be kind of 
Lost your high beam. Alright. Same. Same. Okay. 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 Let's get to this. So basically, I don't want to use this screen because it's uh, damaged and and it's uh, you know uh, not the way I like it. So we use this screen instead. I want to see how this will look like. I'm just throwing the screws in the garbage. Carefully, you know, uh, difficult to get on my own. Yep, I know. I know. On a first name basis, in your city faded off the ground. Nino, she insists she got more class. We know, swimming in the money, come and find me. Nemo, if I was at the club, you know I ball. Chemo, drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album. Who'd have thought a countrywide tour would be the outcome? Labels want my name beside an X like Malcolm. Everybody got a deal, I did it without one. There they go, packing stadiums, the shady spits his throat. Nuts they go, macadamia in the dose of ballistic woe. He can make them look like bozos, he's wondering if he should spit this slow. Fuck no, go for broke, his cuff just wanna throw, but oh no. He ain't had him a boss like this since the last time that he overdosed. They've been waiting patiently for Pinocchio to poke his nose. Back into the game and they know rap will never be the same as before. Rap will never be the same as before. And it feels like these walls are closing in. Feels like these walls are closing in. Feels like these walls are closing in. This roof is caving 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 in. And it feels like these walls are closing in. Feels like these walls are closing in. Feels like these walls are closing in. This roof is caving in. This roof is caving in. This roof is caving in. It's time to raise it, then your days are numbered like pages in my book of rhymes. Got a broken boy, that's crooked mind of mine. Got him all shook and scared to look in my eyes. I stole that fucking clock, I took the time and I came up from behind and pretty much snuck up and fucked up. Man, it looks like these walls are closing in. It looks like these walls are closing in. It looks like these walls are closing in. This roof is caving in. This roof is caving in. 
on the razor thing Get days and numbers like pages in My book of rhymes got them cooking, boy It's crooked, man, I'm on I'm all shook and scared to look in my eyes I stole that fucking talk and I took the time And I came up from behind And pretty much snuck up and fucked up this game up I love y'all with all my heart, with everything that I do this for y'all. Just know that if it was you, you'd do the same thing in my position. Yeah! Don Machiavelli. <laughs> Alright, sorry guys, I just had to go quickly to the washroom. So I'm just attempting to open this. Alright, so I was just continuing to remove this. This one over here. This one has got the frame on and it's broken. This is also completely shattered. Damage. Job is uh, really bad. Not a good job. Alright. And the screen is pretty messed up and scratched up. And in comparison to this, it's still in perfect condition. So, yes, I know what you guys are talking about. The Santa uh, bracket over here. And I'll show you how we can just go ahead and move that carefully and slowly. Alright guys, so I've decided to stop the video. 
Uh, I need to do something else. Yo, 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 yo. So it's time to preview the EG8 sedan. EG8. EG8 sedan, where is it? This is the project which I achieved in 2017 and I got awarded for the declined uh, red and white concept. I had the vision in 2007 and I started the project and I achieved the project in 2017. It's a declined uh, concept for Saishiro, red and white. Fast forward, I'm moving away from the, uh, from the paint of white and red and I'm gonna have a full color change to black and she's got some huge plans. God give me the power to finish this project. I bought a lot of good stuff for this car. This is a K-Series uh, turbo build and I have got some plans for her. I want to build a race car completely so I can participate in the Tuge turbo class. Right, right, what's up, what's up? So let us start previewing this car. So this was the, uh, the paint job since uh, 13 years. It's uh, white, white pearl. I've maintained it very well. Those are the fat beef tires. Beef burger. Neat Triple eight. Got the hand on the emblem right there. That's the interior that I've done on the car. I was a distributor and representative of Action Clutch from USA here in the in the Gulf. I'll show you the interior quite quick. Woo! So this is the interior that I've uh, formed, red and silver internals. But uh, even the interior, I'm moving away from this interior. I want the full car to be a race car. So all this interior will go. We're gonna drop in some nice black racing seats. A Momo steering wheel, that's the Integra Type R cluster. I'm just uh, doing a small uh, fix to it. And uh, the clocks right there. That's the dashboard as you guys can see. Perfect condition still. For the past 10 years this, this interior so i'm gonna plan to keep this interior in my home and uh, this is the eg6 uh sorry the eg8 cluster so i'm um, just started i'm gonna be sending uh so a quick update just for this cluster because i did a couple of videos for the cluster work i will be sending it to the shop so they can just clean this off and then Put it right there and then we can mount it on those uh, brackets you know give it a clean look uh, and for the for the dash I'm gonna go for the i7 Haltech uh, dash I got some extra gauges uh, Momo steering I got a lot of stuff <laughs> this is a 6 speed I still have to change to six pens and I need to get a roll cage, a fuel cell, intake manifold, 6.6 inch intercooler I should get. There's a lot of things that I'm actually planning to get for this car. So I'm gonna be showing you the engine. It's heavy. While I'm talking it's really tiring. My mentality is fucked. <laughs> but yeah there she is. This is a, a built P24 block with a stage 3 type R head and that's the RSX Acura uh, intake manifold Grady Turbo sorry uh, Garrett Turbo HKS KTT1 GT35 can hold up to a thousand HP KTT1 this is a GT you guys can see if the camera picks it up Oh, it's not catching the camera. So, we did the full conversion. It's got a Speed Factory 4 core radiator. I plan to change that into a double fan 4 core uh, radiator. That's the oil intercooler. I still got a lot of changes to do uh, relocation and just uh, a clean job. I have to change the, the tappet cover to get the four point from K tuned. I want to change the oil pan to Moroso oil pan. 
I want to change this uh, intake manifold to a Gato center feed plenum. Uh, the injectors, I'm going to go for 2200cc injectors. Intercooler, I'm going to move away from 2.7 inch to 6 inch intercooler. You know, from Interline Motorsports, she's got SKS blow off valve. So I'm going to do a nice clean top job. I'm going to change all of those ugly uh, pipes. I don't like the pipes. I don't like the wiring. It's just a, a shove up. You know, I don't like it. So I'm going to be doing a lot of work on this car. She's up and running. She's got even a BC racing coilovers, uh, four points come to oil catch cam. Oh. Once the house made in Turkey. <laughs> Just kidding, yo. So yeah, I need to get the traction bar as well from for the front, and I need to get the tower, the three-point uh, tower strut bar support. So and even I plan to to have this car in all-wheel drive. And there's gonna be a lot of work. The bonnet is gonna be a carbon fiber and black. The bumper as well. The fenders are as, as well will be in carbon fiber. It's going to be having a wide body kit to match the uh, aerodynamics for that kind of power. The rims at the moment are four bolts, but they are going to be changed to five lugs along with the arms, probably from a DB8 Integra with the ABS automatic braking system because with high amount of power you need a lot of braking and of course the uh, the, the discs and the brake pads are going to be changed to uh, Brembo uh, two brake calipers at the front and at the rear as well uh, for the rear it's only a single but for the front we will have uh, 17 inch rims installed at the moment those are 15 inch uh, Mickey Thompson's uh, street radials semi slicks so yeah i started this project a long time ago and oh, this is where i have reached now let me do a small review for this car yeah she's got a fat rear bumper by the way unlike this is actually the edition limited very rare hard to find uh, a lot of people ask me for this rear spoiler so i'm gonna, not gonna give it away so what i'll do is i'll just make a copy of it in carbon fiber and see who else is uh, interested in that rear uh, uh, spoiler and i have an upper spoiler over there just like the ek uh, nine hatchbacks. I like that spoiler, but that spoiler is from a CRV. You know, it fits nicely. There, you guys. You want to see how it fits? This is how it fits. Look, it actually fits nicely, and it's got bolts over here, so it just bolts up really well. You know, it bolts up here in this section, but below. So, if you want to put a rack or something, so yeah, it it fits really well. And I got a Voltex rear spoiler, a lot of things. So let me open the trunk for you, show you what I've got in my trunk. As you guys can see, I've got so the battery relocated. I'm even going to change the battery to a lightweight lithium battery. And the trunk as well is quite heavy, so I'm gonna change that to carbon fiber. Uh, what else? Nothing much here in my trunk, so just some pipes, hoses. Honda gadgets, accessories, Eka Eka, Al Aka, Al Aka Beach, some bitches. Just kidding. This is the beast, you guys. This is the EG8. Uh, the previous. This is what. This is the declined concept of red and white. And moving forward, I'm gonna be doing. Uh, she's gonna have a name. Her new name is gonna be called the Black Butcher. <laughs> The Brutal Black Butcher Beast. She's gonna be the first Pandem EG8 Tuj Turbo Class. And I am aiming for 1500 horsepower all wheel drive. My name is Sam Halabi. This is my EG8, my beast. And this is my plans. And hopefully, I'll be finishing her up in 2022. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit that like button. Hit the bell. Every time I, I, I upload a, a video, please. You can get the notification to see the video as soon as I upload something new. For myself, peace out. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> that's a skunk too. It's uh, 2.7 inch, but it's too tight for her. Uh, she needs at least 3.5. Anyways. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> that interior, yo. Action clutch. Pop. Alright, you guys. Peace. See you guys soon.